ahead and say and spell your name and rank and title. My name is Detective Jennifer Taylor, J-E-N-N-I-F-E-R-T-A-Y-L-O-R. -E -E I'm a detective with the robbery unit. Could you tell us a little bit more about what happened earlier today? Sure. Um, I'm, so I'm seeking assistance in locating one of the a uh, robbery suspect from July 6, 2019. There was a robbery that occurred in the parking lot of 2700 Guadalupe, which is um, the In-N-Out restaurant. The suspect driver had given the victim a ride from another location. When he realized that the, that the victim didn't have any money to pay him for gas, he grabbed the victim's phone out of his hand and the victim grabbed onto the driver's side and the suspect took off down the street, dragging the victim um, several blocks, causing uh, some abrasions on the victim's body while also punching him during this time. Um, in order to shed the victim from the vehicle, he purposely crashed into a large tree planter on the sidewalk um, when the victim finally let go. Uh, there was a witness that was able to jot down a plate, which led us to the identification of the suspect. He was identified as Bradford Scott Childers. He's a black male, 42 years of age, six foot one, stocky, about 245 pounds. He may have a mustache or a goatee and has pierced ears. Detective, why wait so long to bring this to the community uh, you know, since it happened in July? Um, so we had some teams looking for him, uh, but they have come to a bit of a dead end. So we're asking for the public's assistance if they have any idea about his whereabouts. You think he's still in town or could be somewhere else? I'm not sure. Did the victim and suspect know each other? They did not know each other. So he just kind of picked him up from a, you know, it was kind of like a pseudo Uber, you know, ride share type thing, or, you know, how did this start? The victim in this case is homeless and was seeking a ride to another location. Where did they start? Where did it all start off? St. John's and I 35. Which direction? from the in and out where they traveling when you said he went several blocks? He exited onto Nueces and I believe went northbound. But in terms of if he kicked him out of the car at the in and out and drove away from the in and out, was he traveling north on Guadalupe, was he traveling south on Guadalupe? He was in the parking lot when the robbery occurred and he exited the parking lot off Nueces and traveling up Nueces. So the way just crosses with uh, Guadalupe. Correct. Right. So they went back towards campus? I'm not sure. I have to take a look at the map. Okay. Um, when you say several blocks, I mean two, three, four? Two or three. Okay. You know, what did the witness describe this when, when they when they saw this to you? And, 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 and to, you know, it's not every day in the world that you're seeing someone being drugged down the street in a, in a fist fight. Uh, a rolling fist fight and then into a planner. You know, what, so what did the witness describe to you? Is this, you know, was it one of those things they couldn't believe what they were seeing? The witness just briefly saw what happened as soon as the suspect um, shed the victim from the vehicle by crashing into the planter. And he was so focused on helping the victim that I don't, I don't think that, I think he, he got the plate and tended to the victim and then spoke to the officers that arrived on scene. Take one more question. How crazy of a situation for you, you know, have you worked anything similar to, to this? This just seems to be so extreme. The, this was this was particularly violent. Um, although there wasn't a, a typical weapon used, um, a motor vehicle is um, is a weapon, especially in this case. Um, unfortunately, robberies um, they do occur every day in Austin, and we do investigate things like this every day. Thank you.